All right, hey, what's up, guys? Coach Mack, Play Fast Football. All right, I'm going to do a video today on uh, some of the rotations and the different rotations you can get into behind some of your pressures with three high stuff. Uh, I just did a podcast this past week. should be out Wednesday with Kyle and Matt, the guys from the Board Drill Podcast. Started talking about three high, why we like it, the things that make three high kind of unique and interesting. And while we were talking about that, I got to thinking about a lot of our blitz rotations and the things we can do out of three high. So check this video out today. Make sure you check out some of our partners, GameStrat, sideline replay company we use. If you're looking for highly reliable, highly affordable, make sure you check out GameStrat, Domats, headwear company we use. All right, with Play Fast Football, this is my BK football hat, Crusader logo on the back, Dome logo on the side, completely customizable. All right, if you are a business football coach, got a team, got a brand, got a company, all right, merchandise is the best way to get that name out there, get some eyes to the product. Stock hats suck. Check out them. All right, Baker Sporting Goods Company we use for some of our uh, coaches' gear. Our uniforms are distributed from, uh, through them. It's fan gear, coaches' gear, everything that we want to do locally here in Northeast Florida. So check out Baker Sporting Goods. Difference USA, ultimate striking machine. You get thousands of reps. Don't need a partner. Set up in the weight room right now on your original racks that you have. If you want to strike violently, you got to practice striking violently. Aaron Consulting, all right, the work that Dan and his group does uh, with – the recruiting process, educating families on the recruiting process while keeping the head coach at the forefront of that. He's got a lot of great things going on. They do a lot of uh, Zoom calls and webinars and things where they're always trying to keep families in the loop with the recruiting calendar, important timelines, how you can build your NCAA contacts, how has NIL and, and the current world of recruiting changed. So make sure you check out Dan all right, and his guys at Aaron Consulting, getaaron.com, G-E-T-A-R-E-N.com. All right, Brand Tech, company uh, that we just picked up as a partner a couple weeks ago. They're doing some great stuff. They've got uh, performance strengths, like their performance strength fizz, which is, all right, uh, you can take it at halftime, pre-workout. You can take it whenever you need to. All right, it's all natural substances. Great, all right, for your, you know, halftime stuff to, to get kids, keep them hydrated, get those electrolytes back, right? They've got their fundraising platform, Change Up, which is a program that's being used around the country. They uh, they work with Q Collar, right, to try and, and, and keep football players healthier and in the game longer with the cute collar stuff. They've got custom sublimation that they're doing, and I actually got some custom sneakers coming from them as well. So make sure you check out Brand Tech located in Wisconsin. Fly Route Drones, another uh, one of our newest partners. Uh, the eye in the sky doesn't lie. We love drone angles. We've got two drones that we use for our seven on seven practice. Almost everything we do in practice and in the summer is, uh, is filmed from the seven on seven. So if you want that angle, if you want to get all right, yourself that viewpoint where that eye in the sky doesn't lie and you can get that angle that's a little bit better than just your standard end zone cam. Make sure you check out FlyRoute. They also have certification deals. If you go to flyroute.com, you can get certified to fly a drone. So if you're worried about who's going to fly the drone, they have online training. Get certified. Use the promo code PLAYFAST to get 20% off your certification. All right, so let's get into the video. As we were doing a podcast the other day, we started talking and uh, Kyle and Matt started asking me some questions. Why do you play three high? What do you like about it? And as we started talking about the nuances to three high, and we started talking about why we like it, one of the reasons I really like it is the variations that it provides, not only in your coverage structure, but in your blitz package, right? So one of the things we look at right away is most of the year when you see a lot of stuff on social media nowadays, and it's, you know, guys that are coming with all these exotic uh, you know, blitzes that are coming from two high looks, right? And the rotations that are coming from these two high looks and, and guys that are doing a really good job keeping the shell. Well, now we've got a three high look, right? So we've got an added piece into that rotation. So if you start with our standard pressure deals, and we're talking about five-man deals right now, if you started with our standard America's path, we've got a bunch of different things we can do to make sure that we can cover the rotation. The first thing we do is we rotate down to the side of the blitz. So the safety to the SAM is down to become the two seam player. The middle safety is down to become the three hole player. The safety away from the SAM rotates to the middle and the backer not involved in the blitz becomes the other two seam player, right? So we get our blitzes tagged into families, right? And, and we have a group of blitzes in a family that is Mike and Sam, five man pressures, three under three deep. And every word that we associate into that family is gonna be the Mike and the Sam, each word will equal a different pattern, but every one of those words in that family means rotation to the SAM with the left safety and the middle safety down. Okay, so that's one of the ways that we can do it. All right, if we wanted to blitz the mic and the will, 
right? So if we wanted the mic and the wheel to be the blitzers here, and again, I, so we don't get crazy with all the pads, if we wanted to take the mic, all right, let's say we leave the four eye out, all right, and we're going to bring, all right, uh, we're going to bring the mic in an A gap here, and we're going to bring the wheel inside and a B gap there, five band pressure. All right, now we get ourselves into a system where we can rotate it to the wheel, right? So if it's the mic and the wheel, we can then say, all right, the safety to the wheel is going to go down and be the two seam player. Middle safety is going to replace the mic as the three hole player. Safety away from the wheel is going to rotate to the middle. And now the SAM or the nickel is part of the three under 3D. Now, what would I do with these mic and wheels? All right, so I would just say, hey, mic and wheel, three under, three, that has a family. We categorize those into the family. Every word associated with that family is Mike and Will 303D. Okay? Mike and Sam has a family. All right? So Mike and Sam 3 under 3 has a family. Okay? What we could then do is we could make it and say, all right, look, what if we want the Sam and the Will? All right? So if I leave the Will, let's say I leave the Will where he's there. All right? And now I bring the nickel under double B gap stuff there. Okay? Well, now what we can do is we can rotate the outside safeties down to be two seam because we're blitzing both edge players. So when you really look at it, all we're doing is our outside safeties are replacing where the blitz is coming from. All right? The middle safety replaces the mic as the middle hole player when he's in the blitz. If the mic isn't in the blitz, the middle safety doesn't need to replace. So if the middle safety doesn't need to replace, now he can play the middle. Okay? So now, again, sorry. Sam and Will, three under three, gets a family, all right? So what things are we talking about, okay? So when we write all those down, what are we talking about? Well, let's just say Marvel characters. Let's just say weather deals. Let's just say rock bands, all right? Doesn't matter what the family is. When you associate that, so if we say, hey, Marvel means... Mike and Sam, three under three. All right, weather patterns are Mike and Will, three under three. All right, rock bands are Sam and Will, three under three. So now when we categorize those into those families, everybody knows who the blitzers are based on the call. They know what the coverage is, and they know what the rotation is because those families equal those things. We will never use a Marvel character and blitz the Mike and the Will. We'll never use a Marvel character and make it four under two. We'll never use a Marvel character and rotate the safeties a different way. So now when you're teaching your kids, you're, install, you're, you're, you're ingraining them into the fact that we have three safeties and we can be really multiple with our rotations. Okay? So as we're multiple with those rotations, what we want to do is we want to keep it really simple for you to understand so that when we start teaching it, right, when we start teaching it, what we do is we say, all right, guys, Marvel characters, who's blitzing? All right, coach, it's Mike and Sam. All right, good. Which way do we rotate? All right, coach, we rotate to the Sam and Marvel. Okay, good. Weather patterns, coach, that's the mic and the will. Which way do we rotate? Coach, we rotate to the will in weather patterns. So now my safeties that I have in my room that I'm coaching, they understand where the rotations are happening. And then I say, all right, guys, rock bands, that's the Sam and the will, coach. Where do we rotate? We rotate double outside, coach, and the middle safety doesn't rotate. He plays the deep middle. So now I built the rotations into the families. And now we're making those rotations different for the offense, right? Because when, when I did this podcast the other day, one thing I started thinking about when we talk about why we like three high, and one of the main reasons we really like our three high stuff is because it's different for the offensive coordinator. How they teach coverages is different. How they teach rotations for the quarterback is different. What the coordinator is looking at is different. How we handle running back push motion, different, Right? So for us, at the places I've been, a lot of the schools that I've been at, we need to be as different as possible while still being really effective and playing really good football. We don't want to be different to the point that we stink at what we do. We want to be really good at what we do, but we need to be different. Our roster doesn't always walk off the bus and beat your roster, right? So we want to be different. We want you to have a, uh, you know, a practice week where you have to look at things and go, all right, this is a little bit different, whether it be the front, all right, whether it be the coverages, whether it be the, the, the middle safety and three high, we need it to be different. We want you to see different things. I want it tough on the quarterback, tough on the coordinator, tough on the old line coach, right? So when, when we get into our four under twos, the standard way that we do it in our four under twos is we use 
the middle safety as a blitzer. Now, why did we do that last year? All right, that kid is six foot one, 195 pounds, and he's a Navy commit. So I wanted him into pressures. So when we use these pressures, they become trap deals for us where we're playing trap two, off a of deep path, off a of deep path. Sam and Will become your seam of two vertical hook players, right? So take away the cheap and easy seam throws to two. We love these in two by two or two removed. All right, we love them to single side removed. We're not a big fan of them to three by one. We've got to push the coverage, shove it over to the three receiver side. But four under two for us matches with our palms coverage. It's a good change up to our palms coverage, right? So within a family, we have these blitzes with the mic in the middle safety with trap coverage. Okay, that's the way we do it from day one. We also did it that way because of who that kid was. Well, now when we come back this year and we start looking at that, I start looking and saying, all right, well, my middle safety isn't that big anymore. All right, so maybe when we run these pressures, we've got to come up with a little bit more exotic way to do them. All right, maybe the middle safety isn't a blitz. So one of the ways you could look at it is you could say, all right, if the ball was on a hash and you see these drawn up all the time, I want to get this corner involved as the outside blitz are on a hash ball. Okay? So now what we can do is we can kind of change the rotation a little bit because we're three high. I can leave this side alone and make it trap, and he can be off the half. Now to this side with two safety pieces, I can spin this safety down and become the flat player of that trap fire zone, and I can take the middle safety and work him off the deep path, right? Pretty long rotation for the middle safety, a lot of movement involved. Into the boundary, I'm absolutely in love with it, would never do it to the field. All right, but it's a rotation that changes. The corner gets involved in the presentation, and now you're getting to your standard four under, two deep pressure, but the rotation is completely different to the quarterback. All right, if you weren't in love with that rotation, all right, you could leave the safety on the half here. You could buzz the Sam out. You could play the Sam a little wider, buzz him out to the flat, all right, and work the middle safety down inside of that. Almost like an old three buzz rotation, all right, where you're dropping the safety inside. You're not skying him outside. So it's the middle safety, right? I am dropping him inside the Sam. The Sam's going to work the flat, all right? And eventually what we're going to get is we're going to get a, a, a flat player, a flat player. We're going to get a seam player and a seam player, right? That middle safety is going to become the seam player. And then we're going to get a deep path player and a deep path player, right? So we're making the rotation different. We're changing how we rotate. We're changing what we do within that rotation, okay? So when we do that, all right, we understand that we can change the rotations because of the three high variation because if you sit and you see all these pressures that are coming from too high, right, and you love the presentations of how they can get multiple when they're sitting with that shell, all right, let's just say they're sitting in this shell and they're coming with all their pressures, and because of this shell, they can get really exotic in their deals and you see these deals on Twitter and on social media where, you know, they're, they're running all these things where they're running some type of, you know, Tampa 2 deal, all right, and this guy's running the pole down the middle, okay, and then they're working it out where maybe they're out there, they're out there, and they're dropping somebody there, and they're playing like Tampa 2 stuff, okay, uh, all right, you know, or if it's a deal where they're saying, hey, outside guy, watch this guy run the pole. So you see, I, I, I know the ones I love. When I turn on, when I read social media, is when I see clips of getting to Tampa 2 with different guys running the pole from different places, right? So they say, hey, in this clip, they're going to take that Will backer and he's going to run the pole in Tampa 2. So it's all getting to different rotations, most of them coming from too high. Well, when you get into the three high world, right? So when you get into the three high world, now there's an extra guy there at that level. So now we've got three guys at that level. So now our rotations can become even more exotic. Now, if we had more time in the day, more time to teach, more time to do things, it could be limitless with how we rotate behind pressures. We're in high school. We can't get all that stuff taught, right? So we keep it really simple. Families, these families mean that. When, they, when, when the family means that, you know who's blitzing. The name means the path, and you know what the coverage is because of the family it's grouped into, right? But when you start getting these three safeties, it becomes different. One of the other things we talked about in the video was how when teams push motion, all right, how it's different for us. A lot of teams, when they push motion, they're looking to see how you match your inside backers, right? So they're looking to see how you match your inside backers. So if the mic is involved in the push with the Sam, 
Now they have games where they, you know, you, you ram stuff, read away from Mike, right? So now when the mic leaves, they, they are building plays off of that. Well, when you play three high for us, the mic is not the guy that matches. So the mic stays right where he is. And now we match it a different way, right? So three high has created a variation, all right, for us that makes it different for the offense. Our blitz game is a little bit different for the offense than your standard, all right, uh, you know, your standard defensive structures. Our blitz rotations are a little bit different. Our coverage rotations are a little bit different. Right? Just little wrinkles and nuances. If it's versus spread, 11 personnel, I would live in three high every day of the week, every down. It's the big groups, the three-man services, the 12, the 22. That's the stuff that's starting to get to you. So you've got to make offenses do that. So if I can make an offense play that way, then I feel okay about the fact that I'm making them play that way. Now I've got to be able to match that. And I don't know if we can always match that in three high. But when we're three high to spread and we're three high to you know, 11 personnel and and, you know, the offenses that took over the game of football the last 15, 20 years, when we're three high to that, I think we're different. I think we have wrinkles. I think we have coverage variations. We end up playing the same deals. I'm not saying we made up new coverages. Tampa 2 is not a new coverage. So Iowa State, when they started playing Tampa 2 from three high, they didn't create a new coverage. They just created a different way to play that coverage, and that's what we're looking to do. We're looking to be different. All right? I always love when I come in and my D-line coach leaves me a note on a board because he is our equipment guy. So he's obviously... Been in here working. Coach Parker, I know you've been in here because you wrote that nasty, all right, two words saying up there, War Eagle. It's a good thing you didn't do WDE at our school, but you wrote War Eagle, all right, and I appreciate the work you're doing in here. Uh, my D-line coach, love him to death. Love the work you're doing in here, but I don't need to see that on my board, but I'll leave it up there because you wrote it. All right, I hope this video helps you guys out. Um, as we get close to the spring, going to be doing more videos. Uh, thank you guys for following Play Fast. Remember, uh, subscribe, turn your notifications on, you know, every time we do a video, leave me a comment. I try to respond to every comment I can get. Uh, thumbs up, thumbs down if you like the video or don't like the video. Remember, anything I've ever done uh, clinic-wise, I've got 10 or 11 clinics, 20 hours of football, email me, sting8740 at gmail.com. I will get those to you, all right? Uh, I've been charging people like $10, $15 for 20 hours of football, right? Where else can you get 20 hours of clinic football for $15? Pretty good deal, right? helping the brand, promoting play fast football, helping us do all the things that we want to do in the future, right? I'm a school teacher, just like you're a school teacher. I'm a football coach, just like you're a football coach. My salary is capped, just like your salary is capped. So we're all doing things out there to kind of help with our families, our lives, our business, right? So any way you can help promote play fast football, all right? If you want to get clinics for $15, 20 hours of football, email me. I'll send you all 11 clinics I got, virtual clinics I got. It's me. It's a couple other people. So any way you want to help all right, promote Play Fast Football, if you want this channel to keep going, if you want us to get better, if you want to see live clinics again, if you want us to continue to do things that we've been doing or you want us to do new things, well, you got to be able to help the brand. you got to be able to help each other. All right? And for me, I do this because I love it. But at the, same point, at the same time, I'm a football coach, high school football coach, teacher, glass ceiling with the salary. So we're always out there hustling. We're always out there grinding. So if you want those clinics, Sting8740 at gmail.com. Make sure you check out all the partners. They take care of me, so make sure we try to take care of them. Uh, appreciate everything you guys do. Remember, you won't play well until you play fast. I will see you next time.